how they rate water. They rate water by the pH of water. So you can, you can actually take different samples of water, stick a pH, you know, the things that they use for swimming pools, stick them in there and see what the pH of your water is. And your water should be alkaline. I can guarantee that our tap water is acidic. Okay, so you want to, you know, and then you get some of the bottled waters that is just purified tap water or filtered tap water. And those are still very, I mean, I don't mean you think that they're really acid, but on a scale, you know, you think water should be neutral, but there's a whole gamut of, okay, this is really bad water, and then this is much better. Okay, so those are things you definitely want to avoid. And I've read articles that say drink distilled water, drink spring water, um, drink filtered water with the you know the tap filters. I'm you know I honestly don't know. Which so is drinking best. water, whether it's out of your tap or not, is better than yeah. I would say don't about drink it. the stuff out of your tap, but everything else avoid Dasani and Deja Blue because those are pretty much tap waters that have been filtered. Okay. But everything else, you know, if you like ice, I know Ice Mountain is a spring water. It comes from somewhere up in Michigan. Great um, city. Was it? Great city. Yeah, there's a spring up there. So and those alkaline drops that you could put those in a tap you can water? Put those in tap water and it alkalizes it. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And the, the alkaline drops, there's, a, there's a, um, a way to do that at home with a little bit of hydrogen peroxide and I think a tiny bit of baking soda. So you just drop those in your water. And all it does is it alkalizes the water. Some of the sparkling waters, you know, if you look at some of the European waters like Evian and Perrier, those are very alkaline. Fiji water is alkaline. Smart water is alkaline. Um, what's the other one? Lacroix. Lacroix. <laughs> I don't know about Lacroix, but I know you know. Do I those think. count? Uh, Lacroix. Yeah, they do. Okay. Sparkling nice water. Special treat. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. So the pH drops are great, and then you know, getting some of that good water. And I see, you know, you'll see bottles of water now that say alkaline water. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. The ones that you want to avoid are the ones that flow. Yeah, so that's, you know, and I will look out that recipe to make water more, you know, if you're drinking it out of the tap or out of your fridge, to just make it a little bit more alkaline. So it's like a couple of drops of hydro, I'm sure it's like hydrogen peroxide and some baking soda. And it's cheap. That'd I mean, be good, because that's what I drink is tap water. Okay. I don't want no, to like myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you see, and then we get into the whole thing yes. about, you know, we're, we're making uh -huh. just a uh -huh. huge impact on our landfills because we're right. buying plastic things, plastic water that is, you know, in bottles that's not very recyclable. Mm -hmm. um, so it would be nice to have a good source of um, fresh alkaline water I, but I honestly don't know I honestly don't know I've tried to still I've done the spring water I've done the pH water I know what I would try and avoid but if I'm in an absolute pickle I'm going to go and have a glass of tap water rather than having nothing correct okay yeah it, it is Lake Michigan water it is Lake Michigan water <laughs> Yes, and I was told not to swim in Lake Michigan when I was pregnant, just so mm -hmm. that I had I could avoid a spontaneous miscarriage. Mm -hmm. So, you know, wow. that, that's something about Lake Michigan water. Okay, <laughs> especially when the, the the river's coming right out here. Yeah. Yeah. Is um, there any advantage to drinking more water than half your weight in ounces? Um, Yes, if you're exercising a lot, you need to drink a little bit more. If you are, um, you know, if you're taking any kind of medications, take more water.